back and we're about to get the airbrush magic started. So Natalia, are you ready? Yes. All right, let's show them how easy it is to do this. So go ahead and take your compressor and get your rubber hose. And you're gonna put one of the ends into the side of the compressor. Okay. And you're gonna wiggle that on there. And it's really important that this is secure because this is what produces the airflow. Just kind of a little bit of tight fit, just slide that on there. And don't worry if it doesn't go on right away, just work with it a little bit, it'll get easier as you go. And the more you use it, you never actually have to connect, disconnect the whole thing over and over. So one setup should make it pretty easy. Great. Got it? Okay, so now we're gonna take your stylus, this is your stylus, and we're gonna put the other end into the bottom of that. Again, just wiggle that on there. Perfect, you're almost a pro. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and take your adapter, grab your compressor, and connect your adapter to the compressor. There you go. You might wanna take this out just so it doesn't fall out. Perfect, now get your adapter and plug it into your outlet. There you go. She's almost there. Now you go ahead and grab your stylus, hold that, and go ahead and hit the on button. Ta-da, we have power. It's that simple. Did you see how long that took us? It wasn't even two minutes. See how simple airbrush is? So do you hear that sound now? Okay, now what I want you to go ahead and do is just begin to feel the air on your face. How does that feel? Does it feel I like to say it feels like angel kisses, really light, kind of like a little mini spa. Relaxing, that's another word for it. Did you see how easy it is? And again, if I can use it, Natalia can use it, you can use it. So what do you think? It's cool. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. All right, first step, primer. We'll be right back. Welcome back. So now we're ready to get the airbrush magic started. Natalia, are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and grab your primer. So I'm gonna get that shaken up for you. Give that to you. Go ahead and finish shaking that up. Perfect, and you wanna make sure that that evenly gets all the mixture balanced throughout the entire bottle. Take your stylus, and help you with that. Go ahead and grab your stylus, and go ahead and apply five drops of primer. And primer is going to get your face ready for the makeup application. It's also gonna allow the makeup to be long lasting and well hydrated. Perfect, there you go. Now we're gonna hit the on button on your compressor. We're gonna go up one speed, which is gonna be to the high, the blue button. And we're gonna go about eight inches away from your face. And we're gonna start, I'll bring you a little closer. There we go. And we're gonna start circular motions. Gently pull back on the trigger. And just in circular motions, there you go. And you wanna make sure to get the product all over your skin. Perfect, just like that. You're almost a pro. How does that feel to you? Relaxing. Relaxing? I'd say refreshing, rejuvenating. There's so many words to describe the airbrush. Perfect, there you go. And you wanna go ahead and continue to spray your primer until all the product is out. Perfect, you see how it's empty? Go ahead and turn off your compressor. And it's just that easy. Now your skin is ready for the makeup application. Wasn't that easy? Yeah. All right, let's get started on our foundation. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So we have our concealer on and we're ready for foundation. So Natalia, we already picked your foundation and we got golden tan for you. So you can take that and shake that up. Again, here the metal ball is moving around, letting you know that the mixture is getting balanced throughout the bottle. Take your stylus. And remember with airbrush, less is more. So you wanna start off adding a little bit of drops and if you need more coverage, you can add additional. So get and open that up. And I would say you could start with about six drops. And you may use it all, you may not, just depending on what you prefer. Perfect. So we're now gonna go ahead and I can take that and help you with that. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit the on button. We're gonna go to the medium speed, which it automatically comes on to. And perfect. And now we're gonna go ahead and you're gonna start just even circles circular motions. A good tip on this one is when you're doing your airbrush, if you have a problem area or a particular breakout, you can start by concentrating on that area before moving on to the rest of your face. You're doing an amazing job.
Make sure you get all around your, your forehead, your skin, your jawline in the bottom. You want to make sure that you're evenly covering your entire face down to your neck. You don't want your neck and your face to be two different colors. So we want to make sure that that's even. Perfect. So now you hear that the product is out. Do you feel like you want more coverage or do you feel good? I feel good. You feel good? Okay. So it was that easy. I'm also going to teach her a trick. With Belochio, you can custom make your own shade. That's the best part about this, is that you actually can find a shade just for you. So how are you going to do that? Normally what you would do is take two shades together and back bubble. So I'm going to teach you how to back bubble. You're going to take your foundation, shake that up. You're going to go ahead and add, we're just showing how to do it. So you can add about two drops, oh, about three. We'll get a good back bubble going. Perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and let me help you with this. Perfect. Go ahead and hit on. And you're gently going to cover the tip of your airbrush. So take your finger, cover the tip, cover completely, and gently pull back on your trigger. Now if you look inside your stylus cup, you're going to notice you're going to see little bubbles. Do you see that? Gently pull back on your trigger. You see how it's bubbling? Mm -hmm. That's how you would make a custom shade, by applying two different shades of foundation and back bubbling. You have your own personal shade. So if you are lighter in the winter, maybe a little bit tanner in the summer, that's how you can achieve that flawless coverage. So, wasn't that easy? Yeah. All right, let's get the color going. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Natalia has her foundation on and we're ready to add some definition. So how do we do that? We're gonna contour. And contouring with airbrush is so subtle, so natural, you won't even look like you were contoured. You'll look sun-kissed, if anything. So we're gonna teach you how to do that. So what you wanna do is take your Take your shade, we're using Radiant. Radiant is an amazing shade for contouring because it's not too brown, not too red. We're gonna apply about, I would say three drops. Two or three drops, we can do three, perfect. And we're gonna go ahead, when you do contouring, you wanna start on the low speed and continue with that. So get your mirror. And here's a trick, to find your points of definition, suck in like a fish. I know it sounds funny and you'll look funny, but you'll get the best contouring. Ready? Do you see how the insides of your cheeks kind of hollow in there? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on putting the radiate in between that section right there. We're going to start along your cheeks. We're also going to go on your temples, which is up here on your forehead, and just a little bit around maybe the jawline right here, just to kind of pull everything together. Are you ready? Okay, let's go ahead and hit your power button. Perfect, go to low. And again, remember with low, it allows you to get more definition and a little bit closer. So start off like a fish, gently pull back on your trigger, and kind of go in an up and down feathering motion. There you go. You don't want to stay in one spot too long or you'll get hot spots. Perfect. Now do the other side. Do you see how it added a little bit of rosiness to your cheek? There you go. You are becoming such a pro, Natalia. Now go to do your temples. And again, just feathering motion, other side. Now under your jawline. And again, what you want to do to achieve the most natural look is to hit where the sun would normally hit you. You got it. I'm seeing it come to life. Do you see how you automatically look that bronze goddess look? There you go. It's that simple. Contouring 101 with Bellocchio makes it easy. And if you notice, there's no harsh lines, so it looks very natural. Perfect. So you're all set. And we're about to get ready for our cheeks. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So we've got our foundation done, our contouring, we look sun-kissed, and now we're ready to make those cheeks pop. And how do we do that? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take, the color we're gonna use for you today is Peachy Keen. We're gonna shake that up. Uh, it's pretty shaken up, you're pretty good. Go ahead and get your mirror. Actually, get your stylus first. Okay. Add your product. You might need that. Perfect, go ahead and add your, I would say about three drops. Start with three drops. Remember with airbrush, less is more, so you can use less product, which also allows you to have long lasting product. Perfect, now we're gonna hit on, and we're gonna go down to low, because again, we're adding definition, we're adding color. Whenever you're adding color, you wanna start with low, just to allow an even application. Perfect, how are we gonna find the apples of your cheek? You're gonna smile, and do you see the little kind of fluffy 
happy part right here, that's the part we want to concentrate on. Those are your apples. So just small circular motions, not too close, not too far, perfect. And you'll begin to see the color come onto your skin and you'll notice those apples really pop. Do you see that? You're doing such an amazing job. Do you see how easy it is? Natalia can use it, I can use it, you can use it. My grandma could use it. Perfect. And again, we're just bringing color to the cheeks. Alas is more, so remember, you can always add more. You wanna just kinda even it out. Perfect. See how simple that was? Okay, now we've got some rosy cheeks and we've got a sun-kissed glow and we'll be right back with our final tip and that's gonna be our highlighter. Okay, so we've made those cheeks pop. We've got that sun-kissed glow, our foundation is on and we got one final step. How do we pull it all together with that radiance, shimmery, kind of just a, I like to call them angel kisses. So we're gonna take our highlighter, which we have it selected for you already and we're using Floyd. And you're gonna put that into your stylist. Okay. And remember, you wanna start with less because again, this isn't super shiny. This is just gonna give you a little bit of a, a highlighting shimmer effect. Mm -hmm. Add about, I would say two to three drops. Perfect. And remember, you don't have to use all the product that you put into the stylist. You can easily just rinse it out when you're done. Okay, we're gonna turn on our on button and go to low. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is grab your mirror and we're going to go ahead and make open triangles on the sides of your face. And again, very gently. And it's an open triangle. Perfect. Now do the other side. The effect that you're going for with the highlighter is just a nice shimmer and nothing too glittery. Perfect. There you go. Now we're going to make those brow bows pop. Those brow bones are gonna be right there. See that? Right underneath your brow. And that does amazing things with your eye makeup. Perfect. Now we're gonna add some fullness to our lips. So go ahead and find your Cupid's bow and just do a little tiny bit there. Perfect, and what that does is that draws definition into your lips. And it's that simple. And you can achieve this look with Floyd. So this is another way to bring all the colors that you put on your face together. And it gives you that Bellocchio Sunkissed Radiant Duo. And again, it's that simple. With Bellocchio, you can do from step one to step four. It's just that simple. How do you feel? Relaxed. See how easy that was? It was like a mini spa experience in your own bathroom or vanity, wherever you put your makeup on. So what do you think? Take really a look good. at that face. Looks nice. Doesn't that look amazing? <laughs> and so natural. So there you go. That's Bellocchio with Natalia and Christy Salazar. And that's a Bellocchio moment. So we'll be right back. We're back. And as you can see, Natalia is ready to get that tour going. Don't you feel amazing? Yeah, I feel really refreshed right now. Again, she had a spa experience at the hands of a Bellocchio airbrush and just a little bit of curling to her hair, a little bit of lipstick, and she's ready to go. It's that simple. So tell me, do you feel so excited to take Bellocci on the road with you? Yes, I'm so excited because it's really easy to use and it's really fast. There you go. So you've been at the beauty spa with Bellocci, Christy Salazar, guest Natalia Loya. And tell us, where can we find you? Um, you can find all my information on my page under www.natalialoya.com. Natalia is spelled N-A-T-A-L-I-A. -A -A. Loya is spelled L-O-Y-A. And then it's just... Yeah. <laughs> and your Twitter and Instagram? Yeah, everything's on my page. Everything? So, yeah. There you go. It's that simple. She's a one-stop shop. And again, get ready because we're coming with more with the Bellocchio Beauty Spot. And again, we'll be back in about a couple of weeks. See you later. It's been fun. Again, remember, feel beautiful inside, look beautiful outside. That's a Bellocchio tip. Bye. Bye.